Behold, the worst televised debate between two politicians that has ever happened. Latest opinion polls going into this debate show that the race is tightening. And when I mean tightening, I mean flip a coin. Fetterman is now down about one and a half points. Oz is up two and a half points and there is not a percentage between them right now. If you were a voter in Pennsylvania, would you want this hardcore leftist to be your next senator? Because I think anyone who watches this will say, hell freaking no. Let's start with, how does he go at the very start of the debate? What qualifies you to be a US senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. He's running to use Pennsylvania. Here's a man that spent more than $20 million of his own money to try to buy that seat. I'm also having to talk about something called the Oz rule, that if he's on TV, he's lying. In Pennsylvania, this is a very big issue because there's a lot of jobs in that industry. This is a long grab, it's an awkward grab, but imagine being a voter in Pennsylvania. Could anyone vote for this guy? 2018 interview, you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all, I never have. But earlier this month, you told an interviewer, quote, I support fracking, I support the energy independence that we should have here in the United States. So Mr. Fetterman, please explain your changing position, 60 seconds. Uh, I've, I've always supported fracking, and I always believe that independence with our energy is, is critical, and we can't be held, you know, you know, ransom to somebody like Russia. You know, I've always believed that energy independence is critical, and I've always believed that, and I do support fracking. I've never taken any money from their 
their, their industry, but I support how critical it is that we produce our own energy and create energy independence. I must correct the uh, record. Well, he uh, just a second, Mr. Oz. I do want to clarify something. You're saying tonight that you support fracking, that you've always supported fracking, but there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? Uh, I, I, I do support fracking and I don't, I don't, I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. Is it over yet?